Hey, I'm Josh Beck with XMR Sports, and today we want to take a look at how to use a new roller device called the Smacker. What the Smacker does is allows individuals to roll the three main muscle groups in the legs, which are the calves, quads, and hamstrings, and roll them out in a relaxed state. And we'll go over the ways to do that, but uh, first I want to show you uh, an additional feature it has, which is the, the stretch plate here for the calves. And as you'll see, we've got a number of different options or notches down here, so you just simply pick whichever notch you like, and then just simply stand on it. You can use these top supports here for balance and stability, and whenever we're stretching any of these three muscle groups, uh, we certainly recommend 20 seconds minimum uh, to get a good nice release on that muscle. Uh, as far as stretching the quads and hamstrings, again, uh, we recommend on each one uh, 20 seconds with just your standard quad stretch. And then uh, there's a number of different ways to stretch hamstrings, uh, just simple static stretches there. Now let's get right into how to use the roller. Uh, first mode we'll look at is how to roll out your hamstrings. And so the first step is to set the right proper height on this. And uh, you'll have to maybe uh, play around with the height on this to start out with find yours, but essentially when you find the right one uh, and you're standing flat-footed, uh, quadricep is going to be roughly parallel to the floor. Um, simply hold the handles here for stability. Um, one of the keys for rolling the hamstrings out properly is to leave this lower leg limber. In other words, we don't want to curl it back this way and we don't want to try to kick it out that way. Uh, if we have a limber lower leg, then we have a relaxed hamstring, and then we can roll and get deep into the belly of that muscle. So in terms of how many repetitions from the bend of the knee to the base of the hamstring, we start out with 20, back and forth. And then once you're through your 20 repetitions, you can always come back to any trouble spots that might be there, trigger points, knots, and those types of things. Um, so that's how you roll the hamstring. I'm just doing a demonstration here, but we certainly want to do left and right. Uh, anytime you roll one or the other, uh, you, you certainly want to uh, do both so you even that out. Okay, next thing we're going to look at is how to roll out the calf muscle. So come around the opposite side. And the reason we do this, uh, we're going to put it about halfway down. And the reason we come around the opposite side is because once we put our calf on here, we want the pressure going back against these slots so that it doesn't slip out there. So essentially, you want to relax your foot forward here. And by relaxing that foot forward, it relaxes the calf and allows us to get an air roll. It. Again, you can roll from the bend of the knee all the way to the Achilles. And we want 20 repetitions on the calf, on each calf, and come back to any trouble spots after that. Okay? Moving along to the quadricep. First step is we put our heel on the crossbar and we want to make sure we have a straight knee. And the reason we want a straight knee is because when we start bending it, we get that quad engaged and that's the last thing we want when we're trying to massage muscles. So we get a straight knee and then we take the roll and we use it like a dough rolling pin. You can get on the inside, on the outside, over here in this IT band. So if you have IT band problems, allows you to control the pressure of the uh, whereas a uh, bone roller, you might have too much pressure on there sometimes. But uh, that's the basic mode of how to use the smacker. Josh Beck with XMR Support.